Now, the Discovery Institute recently did me a great favor <coughs> in that um, on their website, they proudly announced that they had compiled a list of all the peer-reviewed papers on intelligent design in the last, oh, I think it was almost 30 years. So they had the full list. They, they, this was produced not by me, but by the Discovery Institute, where they had gone out, looked through all the literature, and found all the papers that discuss intelligent design. And they gave a list, which is in the next slide. You won't be able to read it because it's very tiny text, but there's, there is the complete list of everything produced in the last 30 years on intelligent design creationism. There's something like 72, 73 references up there, which is, well, I would almost say impressive, except that I laughed too hard. Um, this is the complete list, authored by the Discovery Institute themselves. And so I thought, well, what about the alternative? What about the complete list of evolutionary biology papers published in the last 30 years? And I thought I'd go look. So I went to this site called PubMed. It's ma maintained by the NIH. It's a partial list. It focuses on biomedical applications and things like that. So it doesn't have a full, uh, full cited literature on evolutionary biology, but it's a pretty good approximation. It's got a large number. And I said, OK, just give me all, a list of all the papers published on evolutionary biology. And if we go to the next slide, that should be it. Yeah. OK. <laughs> now you notice I've got the same number. I've got 72 or 73 papers up there. Um, it turns out, if you press that space oh, one more time, uh, that's the total output for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> sort of puts them in perspective, doesn't it? That most of that, you know, here they've been straining for 30 years. They've been claiming to be doing all this great science. And they haven't. Now further, you can start looking at these papers a little more carefully. So I, I did that. So if you go to the next slide. Uh, this should be the, this is back to that list of Discovery Institute papers. Um, I went through this and looked very carefully at these papers, and most of them are junk. Most of them are published in really poor quality journals, off journals, uh, vanity journals, terrible places like this. And I just want to mention, highlight one thing about this, is when I looked through this list, I was surprised to see one name that kept popping up. David Abel. Has anybody heard of David Abel before? Yes. <laughs> because you read my site? Or you've heard of him? Okay. David Abel is, uh, he is the author of 17% of the papers in that list. Kind of an influential guy. So it's really peculiar that nobody I talked to had ever heard of him. He's a mystery. So we went digging, and if you go to the next slide, the paper conveniently told me where he worked. Now look at that title. I can't even remember the title. Let me go. So this is his paper, and notice where he works. He works at the Department of Protobiocybernetics and Protobiosemiotics at the Origin of Life Science Foundation in Greenbelt, Maryland. Wow, you know, I don't have a title that nice. <laughs> that's, that's a really impressive title. That's, that's a whole bunch of scientific disciplines I had never heard of before. <laughs> that was kind of peculiar right there. Now remember, this is the guy who's authoring 70% of the creation of the intelligent design papers in the literature. Um, and I posted this on my blog, and I said, wow, I wonder what, where this place is. There must be some magnificent private foundation that's built an elaborate research institution in Greenbelt, Maryland. Um, so some friends of mine went driving by and took a picture <laughs> at that address. If you go to the next slide. Uh, there it is. <laughs> that's the Origin of Life Science Foundation. Uh, the Department of Protobiosemiotics is probably the bathroom window. <laughs> and, I, and again, I posted this and people said, Oh, no, that can't be. They wouldn't lie to us that much. So I just want you to touch that button one more time. I zoom in. Uh, if you look really closely at the garage, there is a sign there. It is officially the Origins of Life Foundation headquarters. It's some guy's house in a cul-de-sac 
in a Maryland suburb. And it turns out that David Abel is a retired veterinarian. <laughs> That's it. That is the most prominent scientist in the intelligent design community. Aren't you proud? They're there, they're working away. They're blinding you with not science! <laughs> <laughs>